Hi Spice Fam, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you how I make my coconut flaxseed infused dinner rolls. It's perfect for breakfast, for a large family gathering and even for dinner. So make sure that you're subscribed, that you would like our videos, you also comment and as well as share and put on your post notification bell so you don't miss each time I upload. Let's get into this video. These are some of the ingredients we will be using for our coconut flaxseed infused dinner rolls. Here I have some yeast sugar, some margarine I have here, some milk. I also have here some flour as well as some flaxseed. So I will show you the rest of the ingredients as we move along in this video. I'm gonna start off by adding some flour to a mixing bowl. Next, I'm going to go in with the yeast, sugar, some salt for that flavor to pop through, and the flax seed. Once I add them, I'm going to mix them until everything is combined. And you want to mix it on low speed, or medium speed, I should say. Yeah. Once it's done, I will set that aside and move on to the wet ingredients. To a pot on low heat because you don't want to boil the mixture I'm going to add in the margarine followed by the milk and we are adding in some water once it has been added I'm just going to mix it around until it's melted and we don't want the mixture to boil we simply want it to warm enough so that we can uh, activate the yeast when we pour it into the dry mixture this is what it looks like so next we are going to move on to adding it to the mixture that we have I did add in some uh, coconut or grated coconut uh, I did not get a clip I'm not sure what happened there but I didn't get a clip so now I'm adding in the wet mixture and I'm just going to allow it to beat on low speed for a couple minutes or so and then I'm going to add in some flour and increase the speed So this dough is going to be a sticky dough, but not sticky that you can't work with. Alright, so once it's done, I will come back to show you the next step. So here is the dough. I did add some flour to a countertop, to my countertop I should say. And then I am going to knead the dough for roughly 8 to 10 minutes and that will give us a nice and smooth dough. So once it's done, I will come back to show you what it looks like. So here is our dough, all nice and smooth. It's done, it's finished. And next, what we are going to do, we are going to cover it and leave it right there and rest it for roughly 10 minutes, which basically helps with the gluten development. So here it is after the 10 minutes, as you can see, some of the flaxseed is peeping through, as well as our dough is still sticky. You don't want it to be super sticky, but sticky enough that you can work with it. So next, I'm using my bench scrip and I'm going to cut it into equal parts. Well, I did try to cut into equal parts. Some of it slightly bigger than the other, but you should get at least eight equal parts. All right, so we're gonna cut that up and I will come back and show you how I make them into rung balls. So these are the cuts that I got and here is my baking dish that I like to grease. You don't want to miss a step or else your bread is going to stick to the bottom and you will not be able to get it out. So here I'm just forming it into small smooth doughs and I'm going to rest it into my baking dish and I will come back and show you what it looks like. So here it is all done as you can see and what we're going to do we're going to allow it to sit on in a warm place for roughly 30 minutes to basically proof a second time and this time we are wanting our 
dough to be double in size so here it is all done after 30 minutes it has double in size nice and smooth and next we are going to place it into a preheated oven at 375 degrees i will link the recipe in the description box below so that you have accurate measurement and time as to how long i left it in the oven so here i am just um applying some oil butter can be used as well over the top of the bread rolls or the dinner rolls and this basically helps with the nice shiny color of the bread as well as that extra softness all right so once that is done i will allow it to cool and we'll come back to show you what it looks like So this is our dinner rolls and it is warm so I am going to take one out and I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the inside. So now I'm just going to break it through and please excuse the angle of the camera, I'm not sure why I did that. <laughs> but yeah, so it's nice and fluffy and it's actually really delicious. You can see bits and pieces of the coconut as well as the flaxseed. This is a perfect recipe for a family gathering. You can have it for your uh, dinner as well as your breakfast. So I really do hope that you did enjoy today's video. Really looking forward to your comments. Bye-bye.